Stop you and your powers of time manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, puppy. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> 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 I think I saved here. I must do. Yeah. Now you've got to jump all the way back. Oh Born yes. Although well, there'll be no, uh, no, I don't want to on the spikes. I'm sure of it. I'm too late for that. Oh, I thought you were going down then. No, nah, I'm too good. I'm too good. I don't know how. I think it's when I'm scared of the spikes, I'm more likely to fall in them. But I was just completely oblivious to them, really. I'm quite oblivious by nature. <laughs> Sure, you killed those guys the first time around. I probably skipped a few. It's the last part of it where you don't really have to kill them because they're not a danger to me down there. You skip along the top line to get up. So, so this is the fourth dog, I think. And yeah, then I get just the one in the chest left again. Yeah, but you have no idea what I do to get it. <laughs> You're gonna, he's gonna rip your hair out, mate. What's left of it? <laughs> Thanks for that. No problem. <laughs> do, 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 do. Here, have a dog. There you go. She tells you a little bit more about the, the red petals every time you give her, give her a puppy. The evil red flowers. Hmm. Mm. Do, 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 I'm thinking, hmm, hmm, no. <laughs> I really wanted to uh, check that chest out. Now, see, I can't remember the last dog is, so I think, right, I'll just go exploring. So I end up going all the way to where I fought the sand monster. Oh, God. Yeah, so it's all the way along here. I've got to go past all those stupid sun things. I think I dodge a lot of them, but occasionally I have to fight a few. Man, I hate those guys. Yeah, they're it's tad annoying, aren't they? They wouldn't be so tad. annoying if there wasn't sand crocs directly underneath them. Yeah. Well, they hurt like hell as well. Yeah, they really do. Seems to have quite a lot of help at this point, man. Yeah, I'm still missing that heart capsule from the egg room, egg chamber place, whatever it's called. Oh, right, yeah. That's got some bearing it on it, hasn't really it? Dragon eggs. eggs. That's got some weird bearing on the story. Oh, you need to get that. As soon as possible. You might have missed it already, to be honest. What? The egg corridor changes at some point. Does it? Yeah. How so? Um, I don't know when it happens then. Is there a prompt? Um, no, but basically, you do. I think you do get told to go back. I don't think I've been told to yet, but I need to go back there anyway to pick up some bits and bobs. It just probably means taking a video to go pick up the bits I've missed, yeah. but I guess it's not such a big deal. Finish this stage. Well, you, you will really want... Oh, you missed it. A little bit. No, you, you, will, you will really want um, as much help as possible for the later stages of the game. Mm, definitely. I mean, I'm... I'm Laughing a lot right now hurts on occasion. And it's still relatively easy, I think. You've got quite a bit, quite a good amount of health, considering how. I think I've, there's only one that oh, I've missed, yeah. as far as I know. It's been available to me as of yet. I love the machine, it's so awesome. It is, I've yeah. I've literally never used it. No, it kicks ass. It's a seriously cool gun. It's a shame that I missed out on the super awesome. Near as much ass as the spinner. Yeah, it's a shame, but oh well. I had a great debate to myself about. Uh... No, I think I'll go around. So, so you saw the only pop out where. Yeah, nothing here. Great, turn around. <laughs> oh yeah, I can fly. <laughs> and it still does not occur to me to use to get over stuff. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, turning around now. Great. Yeah, the sand crocs only appear where there's bones on the sand. Yeah. And those those pits, I noticed that much. It's just things most of the sand bits are bones. So. Assume croc, unless otherwise stated by lack of bone. 
basically avoid the sun. Yeah, pretty much. If you're quick, you generally run past all I'm getting you, and then you shoot, turn around and shoot with some strong. Yeah, you can't jump away from them, you can run away from them. Yeah. I think you can kill them with like four fireballs. You can lever it with the. Uh, with this, it looks like I'll see one now. Look, there you go, kill them. Alright, cool. If you run really quick, you dodge it. This is for caught out like, like that. That stings a little bit. <laughs> And you can't kill it with the level 2, you need level 3 to finish it off. Rocket launch will do it. Ouch. Yep. You're gonna start. Stung a little bit. No, I'm not. I'm too good for that. Too good for death. Oh, Fall there's good. a claw break. There's a claw break. There's a claw break. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, everyone. Please everywhere. don't move down. I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> <laughs> I go everywhere, like twice. That sandworm boss just messed me up. It took me three or four attempts to kill him. I did steamroll him once I got the machine gun full upgraded first, though. Yeah, really easy, wasn't it? Just incredible damage to the machine gun. It's easy with the um, fireball, to be honest. I'm not sure I ever really tried the fireball too much. But you've got to be but... point blank, because obviously you can only have. You can hit him in the top of his body time. as well, I think. Wait, once he's out of the once he's out of the sun, you can hit him anyway. Yeah. So I realised that that's a bad way to go. Nothing there. Great. So I shoot no, some little crap monsters. Back oh, you've got to figure out to use your machine gun at this point. Uh, no. No, I jump. Mind you, you're level 2. True, it doesn't really work at level 2, does it? It slows you down a little bit, I think, when you're falling and things, but I don't think it gives you any boost. Not really. It might give you a couple of inches, but not enough to make it worthwhile. <coughs> uh, uh, uh. It's really dangerous. I've already missed, I think I've already missed the four block to get to that last yeah, dog. It's just up there. So I'm looking everywhere right now. There. Yeah, but I've oh. noticed it. Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry. That perplexed me for a minute. How am I supposed to shoot the blocks is, below is me? I can't there. jump. I know. I know. I need just... I think what happens is now I keep going right and I see the chest above me and I remember. I think. Although I could go right away to the end again. I really hope you don't. I, I really hope I don't really as well. I really hope as well. You get to fight um, the TV guy at some point. Um, this level. Uh, he makes an appearance. I don't think I fight him. This is oh, there's a chest. chest. There's a chest. And then I'm trying to remember how to get to it. <laughs> I think. If I go left, we're good. Oh my god, he's got it! Yeah! <laughs> Filled with glee and jubilation right now. <laughs> I don't know where the dog is! <laughs> the most tedious thing in the world is collecting the dog. Yeah. I think it's it just took me a long time to work it out as well, didn't it? Time filling. To make the gameplay a bit longer. Perhaps. It seems fairly long anyway, really. Yeah. For a first time play for at least. It took me forever to play it for the first time, to be honest. No one knew as long as one title story though. Well, I've got the chest. Oh, I was banging my head for some reason. Yeah, I kinda wanna play that too. Oh no, I can't <laughs> really not uh, I can't record it in the conventional way because it doesn't respond to fraps incredibly well. I have to either use a different recording I've program or a different way, way of do doing it. Actually. I might have to use I'll, I'll uh, you at some point. probably like snagging, just do a, like yeah, a space capture. Yeah. Also, you should tell with the Super Metroid. I still haven't really played that properly. It's amazing. Oh, Metroid Zero Mission. Equally as good. Don't ever play Metroid over M. No, apparently that's not bad.
It's just the voice acting, man. Christ, it's, it's like the game. He'd expect her to be. Ideally, she shouldn't. Yeah, a little bit. She shouldn't have a voice, should she? She's a silent no. protagonist, like like Gunnar Freeman and the like. Totally. Yeah. She's basically female but Gunnar Freeman, but more badass. But they gave her this really hollow, horrible, like supermodel voice with no emotion, <laughs> or with like it's really poorly, really poor voice acting in my opinion. It's really spoiled it. But anyway, the rest that's of the game wasn't really good though, was it? I only played it for about like 25 minutes. No. I just instantly hated it, pretty much. I'm not sure Prime was good though, wasn't it? Was that the 64 version or the GameCube version? I can't remember. GameCube. Yeah, it's GameCube. didn't have anything. What a console. Yeah, it didn't have you know, any Metroid at all. I think the primary console, obviously we had, we had NESs, didn't we, when we had NES when we were really yeah. little. Oh yeah, for anyone listening, me and mine, Mr. and Monty, grew up together pretty much. But um, we started out with NES, which was very much I had Amiga. like this, but the quite advanced. He had an Amiga. I had an Atari as well, actually. But it's my brothers. I guess we really started out. We were kind of the NES generation when we were kids, weren't we? Yeah. Um, we just played a lot of the really, the retro stuff for even then, I guess. But um, nothing mattered to us. Then we got. Do you have a Super Nintendo? Then we freaked out when you got a SNES and Donkey Kong Country. God, I can't remember that hardly. I remember the game, I can't remember getting it. But, um. Yeah, so. Do you have a SNES? I can't remember. No, I didn't have a SNES. I got yours eventually. Hmm. Yeah, I gave you my NES as well. <laughs> One time. Got those. But then, of course, 64 came out. We both had one of them. Yes. We played played the balls. The greatest console. Zelda and uh, Goldeneye. Goldeneye, definitely a lot of Goldeneye. Oh, dude, you should do a multiplayer let's F-Zero. play of Goldeneye. That would F-Zero. be amazing. I'm, I'm not F-Zero. sure I can hack it anymore, mate. I can't hack a hack FPS on on the pad anymore. Unless you've got an actual M64 controller. Even then, I kind of suffer. Oh, you did not just do that. Please just use the machine gun. Nope, I've got to go around again. <laughs> Oh yeah, F-Zero. Hours, hours upon hours of F-Zero for you probably about totally two F-Zero. years. Let's play. Oh god. Two player versus. <laughs> Get the it's emulator loaded. Amazing, it's, such a good, it's the best one out of all the F-Zero games still. I mean, the the GameCube F-Zero was alright. Really good. But not as good as F-Zero X. No. The soundtrack possible. as well. The soundtrack in the Series X was amazing. Plenty of times I've contemplated trying to get an N64 DD, even though they're ridiculously expensive. What's, what's an N64 get, DD? It's like an expansion console for the N64. Oh, is um, it that Japanese only thing? Yeah, and it died a terrible death. Uh, the only good thing it had on it, but it was absolutely immensely good, it was F Zero X expansion pack. Oh, man. Where, where you could make custom cars, you could make your own tracks, all sorts of crazy stuff. Awesome. I think you mentioned no, that before, but not for a few years. Again, oh, definitely. Definitely. Oh, not too This is why I, I, I like shit myself. Excuse it. Excuse me saying that. I shit myself with, with excitement. <laughs> I'll point well, out the exact moment. Boss. Oh my god, it's the doctor. No, no, no. Well, yeah, this is the first glimpse of the Doctor, properly, anyway. I don't know what's with his weird helmet thing. Does his oh, look you find out about that. Ah, oh, fair enough. It's not just his look. Yeah, that's his thing. That's how I roll. 